received a, a few comments on the other videos about the end-to-end -end solution and how it might differ from some of the documentation on the Genmon site, which is largely um, written for uh, generic generators, and there's a lot in there that's that's maybe a, a bit confusing. So I thought I'd go over the uh, the differences and similarities be between the two. Um, so just to you know, totally level set, we still need a, a method to configure or connect from the generator to a Raspberry Pi, whether that's an adapter or uh, a wireless adapter bridge thing. You know, we talk about that in the other videos, and and that's pretty consistent. Um, you know, re regardless, you need something there, and as we talked about before, there's going to be three or, or four wires depending on your connection method to get from your uh, Briggs generator to the uh, RS-485 adapter or card on the Raspberry Pi, whatever. Um, and a lot of that is is so documented in the Genmon site that I, that I have up here. Um, it talks about the, you know, the how to place the Raspberry Pi and check the Wi-Fi signal you have outside. Um, and if you click in the, the wiki, it kind of goes over a lot of that um, in the first two sections here, which are largely similar. Where it starts to get different is around the, you know, the, the hardware and the cable. You don't need to do any of that with the Briggs generator. We have the terminal block right on the generator. Um, the Generac models do not have that, so a lot of that is uh, irrelevant. Down here where it talks about uh, setting up the Pi in the serial port, um, that's a little bit different if you use the HAT device. There are parts that are the same if you use the, the bridge that uh, you know converts to the wireless that we talked about. Um, show that in a couple of the pieces here that's you know this device um if you use that it you know that's not applicable to uh to the setup there um and the you know the install of the software you gotta gotta get it installed however you choose to do it on a raspberry pi or uh, you know linux device whatever um and that's all that's that's really the same through the documentation there um if you you know do a, a non Linux you know whatever there's a, a few pieces in here that are that are still relevant to, depending on what add-ons and things you want to use but um, realistically after you get it installed you'll skip the rest and just go to Appendix P here uh, where it walks through all of the uh, Briggs specific setup of the um, the Generac uh, you know configuration or a Briggs configuration, you know, talks about the advanced menus and uh, what to set up there. Um, again, most of this is is created for the Generac, so, you know, we're kind of second-class citizens a bit and have to uh, um, just in, endure some of the documentation there. But if you, um, you know, read through this after you get the software installed, it, it should be much easier than they had to go through on the Generac. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. Want to help as many people as we we can use this, but um, you know, realistically, there's a lot in here that's not relevant for the you know those of us using the Briggs and Stratton. It should be uh, much much easier. But let me know any questions.